MV Uhuru 2, the first ship to be fully constructed on Kenyan soil, is expected to hit the waters in July this year, seeking to set Kenya as the regional hub for industrialization and manufacturing. Speaking in Kisumu, Kenya Shipyards Limited Managing Director Paul Otieno revealed that the milestone has saved Kenya an estimated 1.3 billion Kenya shillings, which could have otherwise been used to purchase a fully built vessel, as was the norm in the recent past. Now, Laura Otieno recently gained access to the shipyard and tells us why the government believes that investments in shipbuilding will help the country fully exploit the blue economy subsector and boost the country's revenue. About 100 meters from the newly refurbished Kisumo port, workers mold the hard pieces of steel in a race against time to complete the MV Uhuru 2. This is the first marine vessel to have been built from scratch on Kenyan soil at a cost of 2.4 billion shillings and in a record time of 18 months. Kenya Shipyards Limited has already activated some component of intermodal uh, transportation. If you look behind, there's MV Uhuru that already has been uh, rehabilitated by Kenya Shipyards Limited and has transported more than 2 million litres of fuel to Uganda. The revival of the shipyard, which was first established in 1901, offering 1,800 direct employment to the locals who received training from Dutch farm Damen, which specializes in shipbuilding. The learning curve for, uh, from the local people there was uh, going quite steep, so that is, uh, but they are eager to learn how to use the tools, how to implement the drawings, when on what position have to be installed. What we are constructing here is compatible with what the Ugandans need and what the Tanzanians need. In terms of infrastructure of loading and loading and uh, uh, doing the uh, business of cargo. So Uganda already has a requirement of two. They have already started interesting us. That was done almost two days ago. Even as the country looks to exploit its inland waters to revitalize the blue economy, the construction of the 1,800-ton MV Uhuru 2 marks a milestone in the government's efforts to position itself as an industrial and manufacturing hub in the East African region. Mm -hmm. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.